Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the Investment Property Deal Analyzer Calculator Template. In this video I'm going to go through the full functionality to show you exactly how to set up and use this template in order to evaluate the potential deals that you're looking at investing in. In this template you actually have both rental property calculators as well as fix and flip calculators. Uh, so we're going to go through those one by one and we'll start out with the rental calculator. In this one, you're going to start by putting in the investment information, so how much money you plan to invest in the property, as well as what you believe that property's value will be after you have rehabilitated the property, if so needed. Then you're entering in your financing information, so the loan principal, the term, the years, uh, the rate of the, uh, the loan that you plan on taking out against the property. And then you'll enter in your monthly revenue that you expect to generate from the property. So. Um, first and foremost, the rent, and then if you have any other additional sources of revenue from the property, such as parking, laundry, utilities, uh, or anything else. And then you're going to enter in your monthly expenses that you expect to incur from the property. The mortgage payment is going to be automatically calculated based on the financing terms you've already entered up earlier. Um, but then you're going to enter in all the other expected expenses to manage that property. Uh, there's a pretty comprehensive list here, but if there's anything missing, you can always add that in under other. And then these sections are going to be automatically calculated down below. There's the income section, which is going to show you your expected monthly and annual income. And then you're going to see your in investment performance metrics, which uh, the two big ones are really the cap rate, capitalization rate on the property, and then your return on your invested income for the property. Looking over at the fix and flip calculator, here you're going to enter in your purchase price of the uh, property and if there's any closing costs as a part of that purchase. And then you have a couple different sections for your rehabilitation costs. So uh, if you have to do any type of demo or cleanup work, that'll be covered in this section. If you have um, all the rehab items as well, things from the roof to painting uh, to the flooring, all the way down to landscaping. So a pretty comprehensive list here as well, just to make sure you're covering all the potential expenses you're going to incur as a part of your project. Then the hit the, hit the major home system, so your furnace, air conditioning, water heater, uh, if any of those need to be repaired or replaced. And then you also have your appliances if you plan to furnish uh, the property with appliances before you list it for sale. And then you're going to enter in all your expected carrying costs on a monthly basis and how many months you expect to carry that property before you list, sell, and close on the deal as well. Then you'll enter in your sale information, so estimate of where you think you're going to be able to sell, uh, as well as all the expected closing costs as a part of that, so paying your prorated property taxes, your commissions to the real estate agents, any title company charges, the recordings charges, and transfer charges, as well as any concessions to the buyer, so if you plan on giving them any cost towards closing, any money down towards closing, uh, you put that under there. And if you have investors that are loaning you money for the property, if there's any equity ownership from those investors, you want to capture that as well. Um, so whatever percent of the profit you expect to split with your investors. And then the sections down here are going to be automatically calculated. So your summary section is going to have all your purchase information, all the rehab costs combined together, your carrying costs, your closing costs. And then if there is an investor that you need to pay out, it'll automatically calculate that as well. And then we'll show you down at the bottom your capital gain and your return on investment for that property. But that's essentially it. It's very simple to use. Uh, it's very comprehensive as well, just to make sure you're factoring in all the costs that you, um, you likely will incur in these types of deals. Uh, but if you got value out of this video, go ahead and uh, give me a like. I would very much appreciate that. And if uh, you're looking forward to more of these templates coming out in the future, if you subscribe, then you'll be automatically notified for those. Thank you again for watching, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.